Okay. I have crossed out all the sections about the live participation in pitching products, and the rest of it looks good to me. Okay. Well, what if we want um, the live participation sections to remain in force? Well, then you will have to find another face of deception. Hey. Look, I know that your mom wants the best for you and for your career, of course. But you do realize being the face of deception is a very prestigious role. I mean, it's big, big, big. Are you really willing just to pass that up? No, I don't want to. But my mom makes a valid point. I'm a singer, a performer, not a spokesmodel. Ah, I see. But I don't think that means we have to forget about the whole thing. Would you be open to hiring a second face, someone to do the home and heart appearances and meet and greets? I do print advertising and related media. We really need to discuss. <laughs> that is so perfect. You know, two faces, two are better than one. And I have a great idea how we'll handle home and heart without you. Go consider this contract official. <laughs> Thank you. I will walk you out. <laughs> and thank you. You know, I'm so glad that we could work things out. We are going to do amazing, great things together. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I, I'm the new face of deception. <laughs> and a gorgeous face it is. Yes, congratulations. Oh, so happy for you, baby. <laughs> I have so many shoot ideas. I cannot wait to talk to you about it. <laughs> See? Everybody is so, so excited to get started working with you. Oh, uh, just one more thing, and this doesn't have to be in writing or anything, but I really would like your word that moving forward, Allison will be a woman of mystery. <laughs> what does that mean? Just that her private life will remain off limits. So she won't be doing any interviews. You won't publish puff pieces about her. Allison, or Blaze, as you'll be calling her, will just be known to the public by her beauty and her music. OK, um, is that what you want? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>